I'm getting more and more into filmmaking these days, playing with different gears, cameras, lenses, lights, microphones, and telling a good story through a video is really challenging but also really rewarding. One thing that you really need to make sure, especially when you play with cameras like this, is that everything is perfectly in focus. There is basically no out of focus in BMPCC 4K. And to do this, you need a focus gear on your lens so that you can perfectly focus with, for example, fall focus, or for example, on your gimbal with a special motor that is attached to the gimbal. It's really useful to have a focus gear right here. If you have a cine lens, the focus gear is probably already built into the lens. But if you use those photography lenses, you actually have to find a workaround for that, of course. You have those universal gears that you can attach to any lens, but those really does not work for me because you can't do even one full rotation uh, on your focus ring. So what I want today in this video, I want to design and 3D print custom focus gear for this lens and that's nothing new already, a lot of people printed that, but I want to show you how easy it is to actually design your own focus gear for any lens you need in Fusion 360 and then we'll print it, I'm pretty sure already at least one of your friends has a 3D printer, so printing that shouldn't be a problem uh, and also if you want to buy yourself a 3D printer my recommendation, and they're free, link is in the description perfect printer, super cheap and easy to use so before we'll actually jump to Fusion 360 to show you how to design everything let me show you what you need to measure in order to design a perfect focus gear for your lens so let's take off the lens from the camera, grab the caliper and first thing that we have to measure and this one we have to really measure precisely is the diameter of the lens, in my case that's 60.5 millimeters and second thing, this one is not really important is the width of this thing right here it's about 20 millimeters and that's pretty much it we only need those two values in order to design a perfect focus gear so after opening Fusion 360 we have to go to tools right here on the top you are normally in solid but choose tools Add-ins, scripts and add-ins and go to Spur Gear with Python logo and click run. And now on the right we have to choose uh, from different settings. Firstly let's change the module to 0.8 millimeters because that's the standard for focus gears. Sometimes it may be different so we have to measure that but usually it's just 0.8. Uh, now let's change the hole diameter, that's what we measured, so we need the hole in the center of the gear to be slightly bigger than what we measured on the lens itself, so in my case that's 60.5 millimeters, so I will probably go with 60.8 millimeters. Now the root field radius that's always too big, so I don't know, let's choose 0.4, that should be fine. And now number of teeth, uh, I will go with probably, I don't know, 96, that should be fine. Uh, you can basically choose as many as you want, it can be bigger, if you will choose a bigger number of teeth, the gear itself will be bigger, but the hole in the center will be still the same. Uh, if you choose too small number of uh, tooth, let's say 60, right here on the bottom you see uh, that it is just too small. But also if you will go with like 80, it still will be too small, but you don't have the message here, so make sure that you choose a proper amount, like, okay, let's say 94. The gear thickness, I measured the thickness of the focus ring uh, that was about 20 millimeters so I will probably go with like 15 millimeters just to make it a little bit smaller and that's the gear as you can see it's a little bit too big maybe I should choose smaller tooth number but it's fine it really doesn't matter because the bigger one will still work but you can save some material and printing time by making the gear slightly smaller so now we can export our gear as STL file and to do so click on the component here right click save as STL OK, choose your location and save. And that's it. Now we can go to Cura. 0.3 for the layer height. That's quite big, but also enough for me. I don't really need to be perfect when it comes to layer height. Uh, now let's go down 20% infill. That's fine. Printing temperature, I will increase that to 240 and bet to, let's say, 80. Because I'm going to use quite interesting filament uh, for that print speed that has to be slower like 40 let's say and also add the brim and now we just need to export this on the SD card and print it and I'm going to print it with PPE made by Fiberlogy it's really interesting material because it's actually a little bit flexible but also not as flexible as uh, TPU I already used that material in my vacuum separator video like two or three videos back uh, it's really interesting material and it will be perfect for this focus gear.
Before I will show you how the focus gear works with the gimbal, I want to design and print one more focus gear. This time for the Laowa 7mm, that's probably my favorite lens because it is so so wide but it's fully manual. The second focus gear is ready, it's basically the same thing uh, as the first focus gear. Uh, I designed this in Fusion 360, same module, just different diameter. As you can see right here we have a different diameter than on the bottom, the difference is not huge, it's just like 1 or 2 millimeters. And that's especially right here because uh, the lens that I want to use it with, that's the Laowa 7 millimeters, and I want to use it uh, on the gimbal. And because this lens is super short I'm not able to fit this motor between the lens and the camera, so that's why this thing is slightly bigger. So let's put this thing on the lens right here, because I actually have this lens installed on my camera, and that works just, just fine. And here is the second 3D printed focus gear on the Laowa lens also works great and right now I'm on the gimbal with also my 3D printed focus gear so I can easily focus on whatever I want like let's say on the camera or on the background super simple to do and you don't disturb the gimbal work so it's still pretty smooth but yeah I need to practice that in order to make that really really smooth so now I think I will just grab the gimbal, the camera and my 3D printed focus gears and go out somewhere to see how it works and just practice a little bit that because it's really not that simple to do. You need to practice in order to make smooth transitions and still keep in focus while moving. That's that's quite hard to do, I have to practice that so maybe the footage that you will see in a moment wouldn't be perfect but I will try to make it better in my next videos.